Hey, what's good YouTube? It is January 12th, 2019, uh, Saturday? Yeah, Saturday, uh, 1.55 in the afternoon. I woke up extremely tired this morning. I was just drained, I had no energy. I got up, I moved to the couch, and I wanted to take a nap. Um, yesterday was a rest day for me, so I think I'm just battling some allergies or something. Because I actually slept, maybe I just slept too long. Um, I did sleep a little better, I think, last night than normal. And I woke up at like 3.30 and maybe should have gotten up. I don't know. But completely unmotivated for this workout. But I know I need to do it. And I know I'll feel better after I do it. So I just want to get it knocked out. My eyes are still watering. Um, I just got changed out of my PJs just so I could do this workout. Because my PJs are kind of like fuzzy flannel pants. And I don't want to get too hot in my PJ. So I did change just now for this. Um, I had a cup of coffee kind of maybe to help me get a little caffeine to get through this. Um, and I ate like two hours ago maybe. So I don't even know if my food's digested enough, but luckily I don't feel like this is super high cardio. It's more kind of weight cycling through. Um, but this is week three shock week, shock wave. I can't talk. Athlete Next program, the Shockwave, um, and this is week three. So this is uh, workout 3.1. Um, and today it starts out with lying dumbbell tricep extensions into uh, tucked dumbbell bench press. And the bench press is going to be until failure, if I'm not mistaken, just because your chest can obviously press more than your triceps can handle. However, I'm not certain that lying, I can get my arms back to I'm not certain about that tricep movement um, for my, my shoulders, so you may see, my eyes are killing me. You may see me modify that actual exercise, um, and probably all of these will be lightweight for me just because coming off it while well, still dealing with the injury. So not even coming off an injury, I'm still dealing with the injury and, and having it heal and, and recover to the point that I can start back with it. Anyways, so that's the first one, it's uh, three to five reps. Second exercise is one arm alternating SP dumbbell row, and that's gonna be a uh, supination pronation row. So with your single arm, what you're gonna do is you're just gonna change your grip. So when you're rowing, um, you'll have be supinated and pronated. So one row will be um, supinated or pronated, and then the opposite, you'll come back the other way. And that's another thing, I hear a little click right there in my shoulder when I did that with no weight, just the actual motion. So, um, these weights are probably gonna be super light for me, or I might even skip this one, depending on if there's any kind of pain or impingement that hinders me that I feel like while doing it. So um, then those are 25 each. Uh, the next one is dumbbell Bulgarian split squats, eight to 10 reps. I am really weak lower body. My glutes are weak and I have lower back issues, which is probably because my, my glutes are weak, but I always tend to lift light because if I go any kind of heavy, or attempt moderate-ish for me, my back locks up. My muscles spaz on one side and is bad news for a couple of weeks for me. So once again, lightweight. Um, and then the last exercise is sumo high pulls, um, 12 to 15 reps. And in Jeff Cavalier's video, when he is explaining the workout, the reason for the, the sumo high pulls. So you come down and then when you come up, you want your shoulder higher than your wrist, not kind of level because people with shoulder issues, it'll cause an impingement. However, I can't on this side, I'm not gonna get that high pull. So um, I'll either go lightweight or uh, just do my left arm. I'm not sure yet. So we will see how that goes. Anyways, it's, you cycle through kind of like a circuit. You do, do every exercise one time through and then you rest two minutes and you perform five sets. So it's 1.59 and I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna record me attempting to do this workout 3.1, Shockwave 3.1 of, was it Steve Cavalier? Jeff, why do I wanna call him Steve? Poor guy, I renamed him. Anyways, Jeff Cavalier's program from the NXT is Shockwave. So. I'm gonna get that going. I'm sorry I keep calling you Steve, man. It's Jeff Cavalier. I don't know, okay.
right, so as you witnessed there, eight pounds was too much for my right arm. Um, I'm not trying to push it until I'm cleared, so I'm going to just do left arm for the tricep extension chest press when I cycle back through, um, just because I'm not trying to overexert or, or cause any kind of injury to the shoulder, but moving on. So now we move on to the supinated and pronated row. It is 25 reps each. I'm not sure how well I can prop myself up with my right arm. So we're gonna give this a whirl, but it's got eight pounds here. All right, 12 reps. My left arm's on fire, the fives. Ugh. So we're gonna drop it down to try and finish. I always forget to start my timer. Come on. That's one side. This is nuts. All right. So, whatever, man. I, I, Need better form on this. It hurts my back. I'm supposed to lock it out straight or be slightly rounded? I don't know. All right, that's 14 reps. <sighs>
All right, eight to 10 Bulgarian split squats, not weighted, so one, have to balance like that. Alrighty then.
This is so not pretty. This is super ugly. And this is actually pretty hard. So I'm on rep 14 and I'm struggling. By the way, I want to go on record right now and say that I am not showing you proper technique or form or anything along those lines as I do these exercises. I'm doing this program for myself and I'm dealing with, you know, muscle weakness, loss of muscle and imbalances right now that I'm trying to get where I need to be. And I'm just showing you guys my workout in case it's something that y'all want to give a try. Um, or whatever, but this is not me instructing you proper form and technique because I know I got a lot of imbalances. I have balance issues anyways, but since surgery and been out of the gym, I got a long way to go and I got a lot of progress to be, to, to work on. So I um, just wanna go on record and say that because I know people like to nitpick and whatever, but I'm just sharing my workout with you. I know my form and technique is terrible, but it's something that I'm working on. So I'm just, roughly three weeks back at working out and it's not even super steady back working out so i'm not where i want to be or need to be but i just wanted to throw that little disclaimer out there i'm not telling anybody perfect form or technique or anything like that i'm just sharing the workout that i've done all right These things right here ain't no joke. Ain't no joke. They suck. But I know it'll be good tomorrow. But I feel it like right there. So I'm not sure if I should tuck. Oh, anybody that watches this and knows, leave a comment. But so when you're, I know this is a great posture for doing it, but when rowing, do you like straighten and arch? and tilt the pelvis back, or do you tuck it? Which one protects the lower spine? That feels better, but I feel like you should tuck it. I don't know. So anyways, 
This is terrible for my posture. I'm gonna have to Google it and see posture wise if it's a tilt, tuck, cat, cow, whichever. But so, all right, here we go, rows. Gotta tighten real quick. <sighs> kind of stretch. Ugh. Plus it burns. There's a lot to stabilize on my shoulder here, which I'm not fully stabilizing on it, but I do feel the pressure on the shoulder there. So I forgot what number that was. 10 or 12? We'll say 10. That way I don't cheat myself. So. One arm down. Let's see if you can change this thing, maybe. I don't know. Oh, my back. All right. So, and it's the right side that I feel low right. But it felt, it almost felt better if I tilted, tilted versus tucked. Tilt tuck or do you just go straight but then that's not tilted or tucked so I don't know but whew. all right 25 right side let's do this I will say, no, this arm's tired, that since shoulder surgery, I have had a weird thing going on with my wrist. So like when I do work anything with my right arm, I tend to curl my wrist instead of leaving it straight. But I do have pain in my wrist now because of how I would sleep with my sling. I would kind of roll over some and it would push my wrist down into the mattress at night. And so um, I I've had wrist pain since surgery. But I, I have noticed that um, when doing exercises or lifting or anything like that at PT or anywhere, um, my wrist feels really weak and there's actually a pain in it. But I noticed just like you may see in this video that, so that was 13 or 14, 12 or 14 I was on. So I come up and it stays pretty straight, but I feel like, yeah, see there? I'm curling my wrist with my arm here. And I don't know if that's just a reap. Try and keep it straight. I don't know. I don't know if that's a reflex just from being in the sling and immobile the way it was or what, but I have started. Uh, what, what is it when a muscle just 
contracts and like not spasms but I don't know I can't think of the word I want right now it's a common problem so I'm gonna get back to these reps but I'm just I am aware of my poor form and whatever issues I have going on but like I said I'm trying to strengthen that and I don't know if I just kind of not necessarily injured my wrist but just overuse in that movement at with the weight at night I don't know but I do notice that it tends to curl with my wrist curls like under instead of staying straight all right so that was 12 or 14 we'll go with 12 all right So I'm back to the 25 reps. This is the fourth, fourth set, I think, of the dumbbell SP rows, supinated, pronated rows. And I'm not postponing, I am postponing. What's the word? Not distracting. Ah, distract, it starts with a P or a D. Not deliberating what am I thinking it's like postponing procrastinating booyah Jack okay procrastinating that's what I'm doing I don't want to do these actually I'm gonna say that I loathe these these are terrible and I don't want to do it but I need to do it but it sucks and I'm over it but I'm gonna finish it so let me find this measly five pound dumbbell. <sighs> oh Okay. Although I'm taking my time, which I shouldn't be doing here. So once again, should I have the arch in my back or should I have my pelvis 
tucked under and my core braced. So arched, which I think feels better, or tucked and more so, you know, the navel pulling in, like the drawing in maneuver where you're supporting your core. I don't know. It's just, it's, it's rough on my back. So, ah, oh, so many reps. This is terrible. I'm going to do this arm attempt locked out and then the next one tucked in and see if I feel a difference. Maybe I won't cause injury to myself while doing it. killed my shoulder. I think I'm going to skip the next round of those just because it, I feel the work and I don't want to overdo it just by using for support. So we're going to flip over. Oh, my back. All right, let's try. Oh, I feel it. I might not finish this out right here. Let's see. So, so we we're tucking this time. All right. Nope, tuck. That takes more concentration. So much work.
So this is round five of the workout and I am going to skip the 25 reps of the SP bent over a row, um, dumbbell row, just because is, is the support for my right shoulders too much. Um, and I'm not trying to overdo it, which I may have already in this workout just because uh, I want to work more than I should or maybe not necessarily that, but just how weak I am right now in my shoulder. Um, like I'm not trying to be too stubborn and I'm not trying to cause injury because I definitely never want to go through this recovery again. So I just want to say, you know, it, it is five rounds, this, the sets, um, and I'm in on my last set here. So I did do four sets of the 25 each alternating supinating, um, row. So I am skipping this one. So next is just the Bulgarian split squats and then the upright row and it's done. Um, and it is really um, low reps for the split squats for me, but to, to be, it's low reps to not have any weight, but I'm just, I'm comfortable being a weenie using body weight right now because I know what my lower back can and can't handle. And I know that I need to work on keeping my hamstrings loose and, uh, strengthening my glutes uh one thing i do know um that normally the the looser i keep my hip flexors if i stretch my hip flexors pretty often i, I have fewer lower back problems but I, I just i know my body and i know that i can't lift heavy up to this point i have never been able to lift heavy without having my back spasm and lock up and not be able to stand up straight for the better part of two or three weeks because that sucker won't let go um, cause it gets pissed off, but it, it's all about listening to your body and you get, you got to start somewhere, whether you're a beginner or coming back from an injury, like we have that mindset, like I know I can do this or I have done this before, but you just got to know, like you got to take it easy and you can't start where you left off, especially depending on how long the break was or the reason for the break. So trying to be smart about it, but I am trying to get my workouts in. Um, trying to get my muscle mass back just because I lost a little bit of it. Obviously I lost a decent amount of strength and it is my fault. I could have been doing some lower body, um, body weight lunges and squats and maybe curling with my left arm or doing some rows or something. And, uh, you know, my mindset after that surgery, just, it wasn't there. So it's fine. And I'm starting now. So surgery was October 19th. Today, what did we decide it was? January 12th. Um, I started this program. This is the beginning of week three. However, I think I did like four days of each week. So four exercises week one, four exercises week two. And then I plan on doing the ex all the exercises this week. So we'll see how it goes. Um, but I'm just trying to ease back into it. Um, not cause any injury, but get that... Um, activation and just get that mentality back into you know working out and getting my body right and my mind right because my mind's been missing it and uh i just i slowed way down and i don't like being that slow so i'm gonna finish this workout out i did not mean to take that long of a break talking so i'm gonna finish these last two exercises and we're gonna call it good All right guys, so that was the workout. It was definitely not pretty. Farthest thing from looking good that it could have been, but 
I'm a little winded and I definitely am feeling more energy now than I had when I started. Yeah, that hair's looking great. Check that out. Yes, so anyways, I got the workout in. That's half the battle, you know? Um, I just, I wasn't, I can't say I wasn't well rested because I feel like I slept okay, but I was just, just exhausted when I got up. Um, sinus and allergies, the season, rain, cold, hot, cold. Uh, could be a lot of things, a lot of factors, but I pushed through it, I got it done. Far from pretty, um, but I'm just trying to get back at it. So you gotta start somewhere and it ain't always pretty. So we're gonna get better, we're gonna progress. And I just really wanted to you know, record this workout to show you guys or whoever's watching or wants to watch or whatever. It's not, I'm not telling anybody what to do, but just do something. And, and that's the point of me sharing my workout. Like if, if I can do it, you can do it. Anybody can do it. You just gotta decide to do it. You gotta commit. You gotta, it's, you got to decide to do it. You gotta want change or growth or something before you, you know, take that step towards that endeavor. So I'm coming off an injury and I, like I said, I kind of came back with a new mindset towards all this after having such a, a long break for me. Um, and uh, I'm just starting new, starting fresh. And once again, this is Jeff Cavalier's uh, program Shockwave from his NXT um, workouts. And he's known for his Athlete X um, programs. But it's not my workout that I'm doing right now. Um, I will record some later on that I, I make myself. But give credit where credit is due. Like I said, this is Jeff Cavalier's program um, Shockwave. And that was day one of week three. Uh, I do need to do some stretching and that's all I can really think of to share right now. So I feel like I had something else to say. My dogs are whining. I lost all focus. So anyways, if you watched it, I hope you enjoyed it. If not, critique it, whatever. Um, we're all here to get better and encourage and motivate one another. So like I said, uh, I'm not telling anyone the proper form or technique because I know mine is garbage. Um, I am a person that, you know, live what you preach, you know, live by example, not do as I say type deal. So um, I'm working on getting my stability back and working on my imbalances and just overcoming my injury and, and getting back to it and, and getting stronger. So like I said, we're all beginners at some point and then sometimes we all have to start over. Um, depending on what life throws at us. So anyways, I don't get the whole like and subscribe thing. I personally hate it. So obviously if you like it, you'll like it. And if you didn't, then you'll give it a And if you feel like it's entertaining enough or you like the content, then you'll subscribe to it. So I'm not, I don't know if that's something that people are supposed to say or whatever, but every video I watch, it has that commentary part in there. and. I just, I mean, whatever. It's common sense. If you like it, you're gonna like it. If you don't like it, you're not gonna like it. So, um, yeah, if you can't be good, be good at it, and I'm calling it. <laughs>